109 here. I hope you enjoy this video. This is how to draw a pony, my style. So, hope you guys enjoy. The things you will need is obviously a pencil. I'm using an art pencil with 5H. A rubber. My own is a smeggle rubber. And it's for really big mistakes. I wrote that on because that's what it had on it the first time. You can have a ruler if you wish. But I'm also going to be using... Probably not this pen because it's a really stupid pen. But a pen of some sort. Sorry guys if you hear some shouting in the background or anything else. I might have to pause the video every now and again. But anyway, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to mark out your area where you're going to be drawing. I've got to clear up the page first. So what you want to do is you want to start off with the head. So you can do it normally where you go draw the big head, the two small guys and blah, 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 blah. That's what I did for starting out, but it didn't really go as planned. So this is how I draw ponies. So you want to start here, about here. So guys, if you can't see that very well, it's really fuzzy. So you want to bring it down. And you want to bring it quite across a bit. Now, depending whether you want a unicorn or not, you can draw the horn in. But I'll show you where to do that later. The computer's in the way so often. Actually, no, that was comfortable. I'm having that back. <laughs> Um, so now you want to draw the muzzle, so you want to come down. Now from your view, it doesn't look really good, but f every now and again I'll do an up view from what uh, my perspective is. So that's basically the idea. Now you want to go down and bring it around. So about like that. And if you want a male pony... You want to draw it as a flat nose, but considering I want a girl pony, which I draw most of the often times, is you just want to draw the muzzle a little bit more round. And if you wanted, I'm going to draw it as a smile. At the moment it looks like a sock, so I'm going to bring that in a bit. As I said, you can always make mistakes. If you make a mistake, there's room for three more mistakes and then blah, 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 blah. So then you want to draw the lower part of the mouth. God damn it, I keep messing this muzzle up. When I talk, it's really hard to create. There we go. So you want to draw the lower part of the mouth, which is this part here. So here you go, here's the top view. Now, let's bring the little mouth around. Now, I'm going to mark it out so that it goes in line with here. So, from there. From the top of the head, the way you underlined it. So, you want to bring it around. You want to bring it quite sharp because if that was connected, it would be about there on it. So, you want to bring it around. So you want to bring it around sort of, don't draw that second line that I drew, or the first line I drew, because that was really horrible. So you basically want to draw it up, and then you do it. Now for the ears, so you can get rid of this part now, or you can leave it, it's up to you. Now to for the ears, so here's my top view. And back down. So let's draw the ears. So you want to come in from here up. Now depending on how big you want your ears, you've got to curve around so it looks like this. So this part here. So you want to make it in a U shape. And then you want to extend this down. I've got it up a bit higher. But I'm only holding it with my left hand, so sorry if I drop it. And you want to bring that so it's like that. So here's a close-up view. Okay. 
Now what you want to do after you've drawn your ear is you want to come from about the middle point of it. So about here. And you want to go out a bit and bring it down. So there's the start of the... So that's the full head. That's the head. Now for the neck. So at the moment I'm just drawing a head. So, so you want your neck to come in from here, from around the corner. Yeah, and I keep putting this on weird angles. Sorry, guys. But, yeah. Amazing. You don't want it to go out. You want it to go straight down. So, like, I've got here. And you want to keep bringing it down until it's your desired height. I'm going to bring this one across. Wish I could have a stand for this camera. So you want to bring it across like this. Then when down here, there's the end. I'm going to bring it around. So you want this part to be rounded. Then you draw two curves on either side like this. Doesn't matter how big they are. Now we're drawing the legs. So you want to go from the bottom part of that and draw them. And you want to come out a little bit and go from a little bit up like that. And you just want to extend from about here, bring it across, and draw those little things again. I've got a really annoying song in my head. I hate it. It's been in my head all day. I hate it. Even when I was dancing, I hate it. So you want it to be like a curve, then again bring forward. Now if you want it to be a moving pony, I'll post a video another time later on that. So that's the basic kind of thing, and I've just looked at my pony from the actual form. Like your one is perfect on the camera. Holy mackerel, those are skinny legs for that massive ginormous head of mine. Now you want to bring it around. Maybe this is going to be like a little filling, I guess. A little small pony. Now for the mouth, if you've got it open. Really? Whoa, guys, sorry. So sorry, I just said. Okay, so I really need to hold this a different way. There we go. Now, if you want to have your mouth open like this, you want to go from the top a bit in, so like that. And then for if you want teeth, you can just bring it in like that. Or if you want a tongue, you can bring it in like that. I really enjoy the tongue ones, unless you're making an evil pony, which would be a teeth. A teeth. A teeth. Amazing. Then to draw the nose. And we'll get back to other stuff later. So, yeah, this is going to be a little filly. And if you want it to be an adult, you just make the, the thing bigger. So now what you want to do is you want to draw the mane. Now, if you want it to be a unicorn, you want to come from about here. Go up, 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 and up. And then draw little curves on the horn to make it look like a horn. Now for the hair. Okay, so you want to start. This, this is a really bad angle. Hold on one second, guys. Okay, guys, this should be a little bit better for you. I've just moved everything off from the side back. So as I said before, you want to go from about here. And I did not rub that out. If you guys go back on the video, I think I actually had that there and I was about to show you. And that horn is a really angle, on an angle, so let's just go up and down. Put that back in. 
Now, if you want to draw like an animatronic version of this, just mark off little areas of where you want the stuff to be. Again, I'll draw another video on that because I'm actually a really good drawer on that. No offense to those that don't really know how to draw. Here's a tutorial. So if you wanted a split fringe, you can just have it like that. Or if you wanted a full fringe, you can just go around. I'm having a split fringe. So then you want to come from the markings you made on the head. You want to go up a little on the horn and back around. Now, depending on what's thing you want, I'm going to make a curve of one, of a fringe, so like that. So let's say this is going to be baby, uh, maybe a flurry heart or sweetie bell, I guess. They both have similar hairstyles. Then you want to come up from about here and you want to join it back up with that part there. And remember, if you don't know how to draw a pony, remember mistakes are always okay because you do really not want to see my mistakes that I made because that was just horrible and that's... Anyway, I make a lot of mistakes when I do things like this. So now we're going to go from here to about here. So there. And we're going to draw the middle main part so you want to come around and and you kind of want to draw it similar to here now if you're going to make a curl or something along those lines you're going to want to join it back up so make a little like curve to that then you want to go from here go back down curve around go back down and join it up you can keep going if you want like that. I actually really like that style. I might do that more often. Um, now for the tail. So you want to come over here. You want to join it up from about there. Again with the mane you want, and the tail, you want to join it up. Then you go around, come back up. Go around, join. Go around and join. Round and join. Round and join. So about that, like that. That's actually really cute. Now I'm actually going to draw Flurry Heart, let's say that. And she's an alicorn, so I'm going to make a wing. So what you want to do basically for um, the wing, I'm just going to do this off a bit. So I'm going to make it bigger. You want to curve around like we did with the head, except for starting at like here. So you want to curve around like this. Ginger like that. Obviously shorter. Let's do that again. So again, go around and down. So you want to kind of make like that and make sure you do that little swish at the top so it looks like this. Then you want to go down from a little bit further to give you more space and you just want to come around and join those two ends up. Then you want to get in and draw three or four of those. Sometimes I draw three, sometimes I draw four. Now, depending where everything is, you can either draw them curved, so like this. That means you might have to draw one more off from the side. But I actually really like mine straight, so. So it would be like this. Oh God, I just broke my pencil. Just broke the lid inside. So that's basically that kind of style I'm going for. So that's that part. Now I'm going to come up here. Don't mind the book I'm drawing on. So you want to come up from about here. I'm going to draw up and back down. Arp. Why do I keep saying arp instead of up? So like this as the other ear. You can draw it a little closer if you want, draw it a little back, up to you. So that's the basic style of the pony that you're going for. But then, four, now I'm saying four, <laughs> instead of up, I'm going and then four. 
Now what am I doing? Okay, so with the eyes, like you're drawing on a person, if you ever drew on a person, you want to draw two dots. I'm doing it on a slant. You don't have to, so you can do it like straight. I prefer mine on a slant. Makes them look like really... I guess, depending on what you're doing, it can make them look angry or not. So this video is going for so long. This will be the last part of the pony. Then, of course, you can do little details with it. So next... If you wanted a proper fringe, you can always draw the eye first. And if you wanted the pony just to be like grinning like this, so like she's going ah, with her eyes closed, you can always draw little cheeks. You can have it just like this. I prefer with the eyes open. Then depending on where she's looking, she might be looking behind her, so you draw the pu pupil this way, color that in. Or if you wanted people looking downwards or upwards it'd be crazy anywho i'm gonna draw it so there's an upwards arc and a downwards arc so this is going to be shine in the eye and then you want to draw a little semi arc there and then you can draw the little eye lines for the colors now for the main part. Get it? Because we're drawing on the main. You want to um, get rid of any excess marks you don't want. So like in the main or anything like that, you don't want them. Or like the horn, you don't want too much of the horn. There we go. So that's the basic idea. So now that flurry has got her kind of like set out, um, I can't remember where her lines go, but I'm going to draw one there. I'm going to draw one around like this, excuse me. I'm going to draw another one up here. Then we're going to draw one up here and around because she's amazing like that. Now we're gonna draw one through here, one around there. Continue drawing one around here, stopping about there. Let's draw one around here. So this is probably like a toddler flurry, more like a child school flurry. So yeah, we've got that. Now this is still joined because of this part here. That's just gonna be a different color to this part. So that's gonna look weird for now, but it will look better later, which is what I'm gonna do here as well. I kinda did it there as well. Makes a little bit more sense, I guess. Sorta. No? Okay. Um, just basically draw off the curves and start drawing some other little bibbities and bobbities. No? Basically with the tail, you kind of want it to match the mane instead of the fringe. So the fringe is going to match part of the mane, the mane is going to match the tail, and the tail is going to... It kind of goes all over a place. So, yeah, I'm going to draw. I'm going to keep drawing, and that's what I come up with. Now, depending on what type of flurry you want, I'm going to make it so it's like an animatronic flurry. Now, I know that in the um, Five Nights at Pinkies, Flurry is baby in the new game. So I'm going to draw a little, sort of different, I guess, to the regular Flurry. I'm going to draw little marks on her. So, yeah, basically like this. I'm going to draw a little beatbox thingy my bopper. Now I'm going to show you how to draw the animatronics. So this is going to be, so without that, that little dot there, that's a basic My Little Pony. Now if you want to, you can continue on drawing and colouring and just stop the video here and whatever you want. But for now, we're going to just keep drawing. Again, 
If you want to see the wing again, always go back to the text through here for the wing here to draw this wing. Now we'll to back to the animatronics. So now depending on whether you want the mouth to be different or not, I can't really remember how baby one goes. Now I know her thing is split up quite a bit and all. I'm going to draw it so she's like, I guess, Toy Bonnie, but they're pretty much all the same except, you know, different. They're different in their own unique ways. So that's going to be the eye part. I'm not going to draw the rest of here. I'm not going to draw like a bow or anything on that. I'm just going to, I think I'll draw one on the back. So she's like mangle or something. I can't remember how to draw those though. I'm going to make it more smooth round. There we go. Um, hmm. She needs little parts like this. So you basically want to draw like this. Sorry if I'm shouting in the camera. I'm not trying to. I always say that because I'm always so close to the camera when I film. And I can remember in my first two videos. Yeah, you guys remember that. You know, with... Well, where am I? Says Chica. Cap, cap. Or Flutter. I called her something else. I keep... My mum wanted me to um, not do like copyright and all those sort of things. And I'm not trying to. So, sorry, Scott the Coffin. I'm not trying to do copyright with your animatronics and all. But I absolutely love them if you're watching. So, yeah. Not trying to say I'm copywriting. But it's the best I could do. And I didn't know really how to ask, so... Yeah, just a quick sign note for the you, Scott Cawthon. So now I'm just colouring in the bits that I wanted to colour in. Okay, so that's the basic animatronic version of Flurry. Now you can keep drawing, colour this in as much as you literally want. I'm not going to pause it because that's the basic drawing. Remember, always go back to and refer to this thing. By the way, guys, you're the best. And from me and Flurry, peace, bruh. You guys are besties. What?